bought this. I've been seeing this on TikTok shop. I'm gonna use my embroider's helper to mark my shirt. Ta-da! Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is gonna be just like another craft fair prep vlog slash like studio vlog. Um, I have one craft fair this weekend and it is Whimsy at Sensational Farms. I typically do really good at those. I really like those so I'm excited about that. But I think they had to move it a little bit earlier in the day. So it starts at 11. It goes like 11 to four, which is only like an hour earlier I think than it usually is, but it is an hour away. So that means I just have to leave a little bit earlier than I typically do, um, which isn't bad. Um, I'll be excited because it ends a little bit earlier. That means I should be able to get home and like do bedtime and stuff like that. So I'm going to be working on getting ready for that this week. So let me read to you my list of what we're going to be doing this week. I need to embroider the Antisocial Moms Club. If you watched last week's like craft fair prep vlog, I did like a stitch out of that. So I need to do that. I was waiting to get this and it came. I've got some no-show mesh stabilizer and this is just like a normal like Amazon brand like new bra three is it new bra thread or new bra three I don't know but I use this brand for like all of my stabilizers because it's good and you can buy it on Amazon so I'm gonna embroider those I need to bag my sweatshirt using my little mighty hoop uh, bag not mighty hoop but hoop master bagging station I need to do that um, I need to film my Alibaba sourcing video because I didn't have a craft fair last weekend. I didn't get a chance to film like a craft fair vlog that I would normally post this coming Thursday, but I have been writing on my computer. Let me pull it up. I've been kind of like writing everything down about how to source from Alibaba. And I said, I've been, I've been saying for a while that I'm going to make this video, but I wrote down like a ton of stuff to talk about. So I literally have like four pages. So I'm gonna try to film that tomorrow if possible. There is like a lot of stuff to talk about and I don't wanna like miss anything. So I'm probably gonna just like have to read this off while I make the video. So I'll probably do like a screen recording of like doing stuff on Alibaba and then also like talking about it. So I'm gonna try to film that tomorrow if I have time. It'll probably have to be in the late afternoon because on a personal note, if everyone's been wondering, I get my stitches out of my leg tomorrow. So like tomorrow at one o'clock. So I don't know if I'll have nap time to be able to film it. So I might have to film it like in the afternoon. And I wanna film it tomorrow so I can have it edited to post Thursday morning because if I do it on Wednesday, I may or may not have enough time to like edit it and everything. But yeah, so that was kind of like a long talking about the Alibaba video, but I want to film that because people have asked me about it. Um, I need to photograph my new shirts, like the Chicken Tendies one and the, this is actually my first rodeo, that one. I would like to start taking more shorts, TikToks, reels of everything. Um, so I want to do that of the shirts this week. I actually just filmed a TikTok or reel or short with, um, I just packed an order and I bought this. I've been seeing this on TikTok shop, but I did not get this on TikTok shop. I got it on Amazon because it was like $10 cheaper on Amazon. It's like the same thing. But it's that thing. It's like, there you are. It's like that little mirror that you clip to your phone so that, like, you can see what's going on on your phone. See that you can use this part. So you can use the front camera, not the, like, I guess, like, is this the rear camera? So, so you can use the rear camera and not the one facing you. So I got that. And it was definitely very helpful. So I used that. I need to repack my bins because I'm gonna to try to maybe get a new hitch. I don't know if I'm gonna get the same hitch. I love my hitch. Um, it's from Harbor Freight. I'll like link it down below. Um, I have it from Harbor Freight and it's usually on sale. I've been getting it on sale, but now it's not. So it's like 130 and I'm kind of considering getting a cheaper one from Academy Sports just because if people are gonna hit it, might as well not invest in a, a good one, just get a cheap one. Um, so I may or may not do that because I do like my Harbor Freight one. So I might do that. So I think probably what I'm going to get into right now, I don't think I'm going to have a ton of time today just because I spent most of nap time writing um, the Alibaba video and like packing that order and everything. So I think I'm probably just going to start to try to embroider some of the Antisocial Moms Club. And I'm going to use my embroider's helper to mark my shirts. Uh, I've not used this in a long time just because I've not done a lot of like left chest 
and I could use my mighty hoop like station where I could put the mighty hoop in the right like location where you pull it down it should be right but just for extra to support to make sure I'm in the right spot I'm going to use this so this will also make it so that I don't have to heat press it to find my mark I can just like press it flat and put this against it so yeah let's go ahead and get to working some t-shirts actually sweatshirts sorry about that I think the first thing I'm going to do is cut my stabilizer so I think what I'm gonna do is lay that out open this guy up. I always like to have like stabilizer ready to go just because I get annoyed having to cut it like stopping between each one and cutting it. So I'm kind of annoyed that I'm gonna have like so much kind of leftover stabilizer but you know it is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead. It's a little bit harder to slide my scissors through the snow show mesh than it is for the cutaway. Maybe for this first one just so I can get it on the machine maybe I will just cut my two pieces and call it all right beautifully cut by me okay I've got my stabilizer and I've got my large rip my tag out of there so basically what I'm gonna do is I'll fold it in half like this and try to match it up as best as possible Now it's flat, and then I'm gonna get my marking pin. And then, okay, so this goes like right here, I think. Yeah, it goes like right there. And then, I'm trying to like make it match up really good. Okay, so for large, it's gonna be right here. So that is going to be my mark. Let me just finish it off. Bullseye, okay. From the looks of it, I think that that looks good. I think that's gonna be a good placement for it right here. Let me grab my cutout of it. I think that's good. I think that's gonna look good. I think that's like a good distance down and a good distance over. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and hoop it. So we got my hoop master station and I'm gonna put it like right here. I think that's going to be good. And then I just got to hoop my stabilizer. So I've got my two layers of my no show mesh that I just cut. And then just go ahead and bop that in there. And I'll take my sweatshirt. And I'll try to center my mark on it. And that was good. Take my hoop. Hmm, actually, I think I need to pull it up a little bit. Perfect. And I'll just make it a little bit better. Okay. All good to put on the machine. So I've got it on my machine and I actually did a really good job hooping it because look how close my laser is to middle. I'm just scoot it down a little bit. Oh, too far. Then I'll trace it to make sure we're all good to go. Okay, great. And then I just have to go to my embroidery screen and I actually want it to be on three and so we're ready to go. I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna start it.
is over and I was able to get two of these anti-social moms club done and I also finished marking all of these I think I got every size except for one of the mediums because I want to mark it and do it on like camera for like a short or something like that. So I got all of those done. It is extremely difficult for me to cut this uh, poly mesh with my cutting scissors that I use for like cutting like my stabilizer. So that's kind of annoying that I didn't really, I wasn't really able to do that in bulk just because it was so difficult. So yeah, nap time is over and my boys are up. So we're going to go play outside and I don't know if I'm going to check in tonight or tomorrow. So I'll see you when I see you. Happy Tuesday. So I just got finished filming the Alibaba video. And if you watched that video, it would have come out last week. Um, just know that a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into that because that was definitely a hard one to film because I had all my notes on my computer and I didn't want to miss anything. So I would start talking and record myself. Then I'd be like looking at my computer to make sure I was saying exactly like what I was wanting to say. So that took a long time. So that video is probably going to be a long one, but that is what I was just working on personal news got my stitches out so that went good so my leg is good so I think today because I definitely do not have very much time because my appointment to get my stitches out was like at one and it's three now so they should be getting up kind of soon so I think probably what I'm gonna try to do to make the most out of this time I was gonna try to film maybe like a short of me embroidering one of the overstimulated or the antisocial moms club shirts but I can't find my phone tripod so I'm gonna have to try to figure out where that is tonight I think it's in a bin so I'm gonna have to unpack my bins and try to find it so I think probably what I'm going to do to make the most of this time is just try to put another one on the machine and get that running and go ahead and start cutting the stabilizer from the ones that are already done. I think I just have three done. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hoop my stuff, put it on the machine and then cut the stabilizer while that's running. just finished embroidering and while I cut the stabilizer out of it I wanted to get some opinions on some stuff from you guys so let me know in the comments down below kind of like your thoughts on this so I was thinking for market for makers which is that big two-day market that I'm doing not this weekend but the weekend after and it's the two-day one and an idea that I had that I think would be good and would be like a way to like i guess boost sales and also just kind of like boost like my embroidery like custom embroidery stuff would be to embroider a couple of items as kind of like show items if that makes sense or like example items so like maybe do like some applique stuff like use some of my white sweatshirts that i have and do like a mama applique or like a mimi one and kind of like do the ones where they have the initials on the sleeves like maybe make a couple of those and be like oh like you know these are example ones that i can do and that could be like a way to get custom orders at the market for makers so that way not only do i not have to pack like a ton of inventory because my inventory will technically like not be there because it's just going to be custom orders so let me know if you think that that's a good idea because I was thinking about it. I was like, I have the ability to do the names on the sleeve and that's like a really popular thing right now. And I can even do kind of like the, like where you do like the onesies where it says mama. So I don't know, like maybe like I'll do that so that people know that I have the ability to do that and that I can do custom orders. So let me know if you think that that is a good idea. I thought that that was a smart idea. So yeah. So I got this one cut and nap time is probably going to be over here in a second. I just need to take like a little bit of water and like dab it on where the um, marking pin is. But yeah, I thought that'd be a good idea. I'll put like some example photos maybe of like the kind of sweatshirts that I'm talking about. So I think that might be good. 
because I don't do a ton of custom embroidery work and I mean I can I can do custom embroidery work so yeah so I thought that that might be a good idea let me know what you think comment down below okay so I'm probably gonna call it and I'll check in either tonight or tomorrow also another thing let me know if you guys want me to do a video kind of like going over how I edit my YouTube videos because I have been asked a couple times like how I do it and I didn't know like if that was like something that a bunch of people were wanting to know I use Premiere Pro and I do like a couple of things um, but yeah if you want to see a video on how I edit my videos from like start to finish then just comment down below and I'll try to make a video kind of like how I did the Alibaba video but probably more probably even more in depth than the Alibaba video like I could potentially just like screen record me editing a video from start to finish and kind of like give all my details so yeah let me know if that is something that you would be interested in and i'm gonna go now actually one last thing before i go get my kids so something that i meant to bring up in the last vlog that someone said to me while i was packing up and here's just like a psa for all men regardless of your intentions don't say this to a woman just don't do it but i was packing up and there was this guy with his dog this was at lake nona last week and there was this guy with his dog and he didn't seem threatening or anything like that. So like, I wasn't worried about it. But I was packing up my car and pretty much everyone around me was gone. There were still some people down on the other side, but like I didn't feel like alone or anything like that. But he was watching me kind of pack up and at one point he kind of like gets close to me and he goes, excuse me, are you alone? And I was like, no matter your intentions do not go up to a person by herself at night and say excuse me miss do you happen to be alone oh uh, uh, what why why i was like oh like yeah but you know it's okay and he was like oh like do you need any help like packing your car and i was like no like i've got it and he was like oh i just feel so bad like i didn't realize that you were like alone and i wanted to be like well you've been watching me this whole time sir so yeah, so just a PSA to all men, do not ask a woman at night um, if she's alone and then offer to take stuff to her car. Just not a good look, regardless of your intentions. I don't think he had bad intentions, but just not a comfortable thing to say to someone. As you can just tell, I spent a lot of nap today editing and voiceovering the Alibaba video because I plan on posting that tomorrow morning and I'll need my editor, AKA Ethan, to watch it tonight to make sure it's good to go and good to be scheduled. And I wanted to just go ahead and get it done so I didn't have to work on it tonight before he watched it. So I did that while I was embroidering another um, Antisocial Moms Club sweatshirts. And I also bagged all of my sizes of this, it was a little bit tricky um, because these sweatshirts are thicker. It's a little bit more tricky to stick them in these bags. So maybe I'll get bigger ones, but I don't know. I mean, it was still easy using the folding bag, but it was just a little bit tricky getting it through the opening. But I think it looks cute. I think it feels, it feels thick. I like that. So I did that and that's probably all I'm really gonna be able to work on today during nap because they are about to wake up. And the editing of the video is what took me the longest and I started kind of working on editing the video for Monday too. So yeah, I had a lot of things that I was working on on my computer. But something that I thought about that I think is gonna be a good idea that I think I'm gonna start trying to work on maybe this week, maybe next week. I wanna have it done for Market for Makers, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to start working on it until next week. But the idea that I have is to make a catalog, make two catalogs, make a wholesale catalog and then like a custom embroidery catalog. And that way I can take it to both like 
markets and also maybe like put it on my website too um and i was thinking for the wholesale one um because i don't have like a wholesale website on fair i've applied and i guess they just like hate me and never accept me so i don't have a wholesale website on fair but i do i do want to offer wholesale um so if anyone's looking wholesale watch the you know, just reach out to me so i want to make a wholesale catalog that i can bring to markets and put on website and then an embroidery catalog for custom orders so that when i go to the market for makers i can have a couple of sweatshirts that have some custom embroidery examples but then i'll have like this catalog that people can look at that i have like my pricing and what i can do so maybe what i want to do is do a couple of stitch outs um just like on cutaway or something like that and try to make some mock-ups by taking a picture of a blank sweatshirt and then taking pictures of the stitch outs and doing some like photoshopping work to you know do mock-ups so people can see what i have to offer and then figure out what colors i want to offer and stuff like that so it seems like possibly like a little bit complicated but in my head i've got a clear vision of what i want to do it's just going to take some time and some effort for sure but yeah so i don't know if i'm going to start working on that this week because i need to finish doing all of the antisocial moms club and i still have not tried to look for my phone tripod so i need to do that tonight so yeah all of that to say that is what i worked on today during nap and i'll either check in tonight or tomorrow happy thursday so i'm a little bit late to the check-in game because i decided to just go ahead and try to like knock out the rest of the antisocial moms club sweatshirts so i've got all of those done i just have to finish cutting out the stabilizer and like dabbing the marking pen with a little bit of water to get that out but i thought i would show you what i've been working on i like i was talking about doing the wholesale catalog and i think it's coming along really well i don't have all the pictures that i want for all the products but let me show you what i've got so far Ta -da! I think that looks so cute. I think this is going to definitely be a good thing that I can both print out and put on my website, but I'm still editing it obviously. But I think so far that that looks really, really good. I just used like a template here on Canva, but I think that is going to look so good. And then I'll also do the same thing with like the embroidery catalog for custom embroidery products. But look how stinking cute that looks. And speaking of custom embroidery, so what I'm probably going to be working on today and tomorrow is going ahead and doing all of my test stitch out. I went ahead and put some files onto my flash drive to put on my machine to do a couple of the test stitch outs of a Mama applique, a Mimi applique, and a couple of other fonts. Um, and I'm also going to do a couple of test stitch outs of like the names to put on the sleeves. Um, I'm gonna try because my kids' names are, or one of them is a little bit longer. It's kind of hard to do it with my Mighty Hoop, so I might have to do a fast frame with that. But I did one, um, I did an embroidery file that's just their initials that I think would be really cute, and I can do that with my Mighty Hoop frame. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hoop some stabilizer and put it on the machine and get started. I'm not actually going to put the applique like fabric for this because I want to have a clear um, background to put on the mock-up that I'm gonna make if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is take pictures of these test stitch outs and a picture of the blank sweatshirts and then do like a little Photoshop slash like can the magic to make it look kind of like a mock-up. So that's what I'm going to work on. And if I already put applique fabric in there, it probably wouldn't look as like clean and crisp. But after I do my test stitch out, I probably will do a couple of example um, actually appliques on actual sweatshirts to take to the market for makers to show this. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do my example stitch outs. All of these designs are pretty big, so I'm gonna use my big old Mighty Hoop here. This is my eight by 13, and that's two pieces of cutaway, and then I'm just gonna pop. So this is the first applique design that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna trace it first, because it does look pretty big, but it should, in theory, fit in my frame. hard to tell honestly. I'm about to do like another trace of it. Well that's going to be really unfortunate if that doesn't fit. Let me try it again. I actually decided to go with a smaller one because the slightly bigger one though I think it was in frame it was just really really big and was a little bit sketchy with how close it was coming to the side so I was not a big fan of that so with this trace I feel a lot more comfortable with this size so I think this is the size that I'm going to go with. 
So it's gonna be 39 minutes, but I'm not gonna actually like put the applique in here like I was saying, so I'm just gonna like let it run through. So let's just go ahead and do it. But I'm actually gonna stop after that one and just use black. Okay, now let's get it started. Just one road to take It's growing up over with green So easy to drive on But not what it seems The poison is spilling upstream And it's taking out Every living thing was doing that but I was able to get two done so I've got one of the mama applique and I think that's a good size I think it's big but not too too big so I got that one and then I got this other mama one that looks like that and I think that's a good size too I wish it was maybe like slightly bigger but the next size up of this is like way too big for the frame so yeah so I got those two done so maybe tonight I'll work on some of my other ones that I got I also have like a Mimi one and like a Noni one so I'm gonna work on those so yeah I will check in this afternoon happy Friday so last night I finished out some stitch outs of some examples so I did a couple of initials and this would go like on the sleeve of the shirt like that and then I used my nine by three uh, mighty hoop to do that and then I've got the big mama that I did yesterday that you saw and then I did the smaller mama but like in the diamond applique I think that looks really really good and then I did a Mimi one like that and then I did just like a Noni one in this font so I thought that was really cute I thought that would be like a good one kind of like more sleek one if you're not into the big like block varsity letters for these ones I could do kind of like a monochromatic situation where I did a thread color that was similar to the sweatshirt color or I could do applique I'm probably going to do an applique for my mama test sweatshirt that I want to make but I may not be able to do that today because I would like to do it on one of the cream ones and I don't have any in my size of the cream ones so I'm kind of like wondering if maybe I should make an order for some more example sweatshirts of kind of like all the different color offerings that I want to have and then I can do sweatshirts in those colors so I have examples of the colors at the market for makers um, I think I might do that but I did I did finish that last night and I also got some more big bags from Amazon because I was running low on my big shopping bags and I also got um, a mirror because you know 
I have apparel so I got a mirror to like hang on the rack hopefully or like somewhere in my tent it's pretty big it's like a four foot tall mirror so I got that because people were suggesting I do that and I also thought about getting it too but I just like have never pulled the trigger but today probably what I'm going to do for the rest of nap is finish cutting the stabilizer out of these and then I got like a little cup of water to dab on the marking pin to get that to come out and then I'm going to bag one of each size of this so yeah I'm just going to go ahead and get started on that and if I have any time left over I will figure out what I want to work on maybe do another example stitch out or I don't know I don't think I'm going to have too much time because I did wash my hair so I don't have too much time today to like do stuff during nap but um this afternoon after the boys already go to bed I'm going to have Ethan help me pull out all the bins and I'm going to repack them because I have the hitch situation figured out and undeck. So I've got that. So I just need to go ahead and get my bins repacked and get everything ready so that Ethan can pack the car, I think, tonight so I can leave early tomorrow morning. some of the antisocial moms clothes that I'm gonna bag and then a couple of the cowboy boots but I think that's all I'm going to do for nap time today I think I'm just gonna go do some computer work and yeah so the next time you see me I'll probably check in tonight when I'm packing my bins because I got a lot of stuff to pack because I got a lot of refills to do so yeah I will check in tonight I just finished packing all my bins so I'll show you what I am taking tomorrow this bin is just full of various sizes of my different pullovers. This bin has all of my tumblers and some of my hats for display. This bin has more hats, but this has just like enough for the display. And I think I have two of each tumbler. Um, I probably could have packed more, but I don't think I need to go too crazy for tomorrow. So I think two of each is gonna be fine. And then this one has a lot of hats. This one has all of my mom tattoo my antisocial moms club and some more of the pullovers i think that's all that's in here oh there's some pink sweatshirts down there too and then this one has extra of the big bags where did i put my little bags i think i have my little bags in here so my little bags are in here my big bags are in here and it has my in my mom era sweatshirts the antisocial moms club that i'm going to hang up so i need to find some more hangers some more hats and then i've got my expensive and typical shirts so yeah so that is all of my bins this is one that is broken from the incident and it still has some sweatshirts in it that i need to pull out but there's some good some good footy of that bin but yeah so this is all set up and ready to pack tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog on that note. So, Whimsy Tomorrow starts at 11 and set up technically begins at 8.30. But I don't think it's going to take me the full two and a half hours to, like, get set up and ready. So, I'm probably going to leave here. It takes me a little bit less than an hour to get there. So, I think I'm going to leave here maybe around 8 to get there a little bit after 9, I'm thinking. Um, so, Ethan will have, like, the sunshine tomorrow to be able to load the car and film all of that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to thumbs it up and subscribe for more behind the scenes small business content and craft fair vlogs. And the next time you see me, I'll be setting up and bending at Whimsy. Thanks for watching. Bye! My head space, a week or it's been waiting for the right day. Like the right day ever comes, now it's Friday.